In this video, I'm going to explain uh, another uh, topic on implementing speed scheduler. The title of this talk is about 4.4 BH Life Scheduler. Um, our main goal is implement 4.4 uh, BH Scheduler, which is MLFQ, Multi-Level Feed Queue Life Scheduler, without the queues. Um, BSD 4.4 Scheduler gives priority to the processes with interactive nature and it is basically priority-based scheduler. It uses the equation to compute the priority. The most important concept in BSD scheduler is the concept of nice. It's an integer value, and it represents the niceness of a thread. If a thread is nicer, uh, it means that the thread is willing to give up some of its CPU time. So in Pintos, nice value ranges from negative 20 to 20. Uh, nice value of zero is default and it does not influence uh, on priority. If nice is positive, then um, it decreases the priority. If nice is negative, then it increases the priority of a process. There are two functions for uh, adjusting and getting nice value. First one is thread get nice, and second one is thread set nice. In Pintos, the priority of process ranges from 0 to 63. It is assigned integer, minimum being 0, with maximum being 63. The larger the number, the higher the priority. When a thread is initialized, the thread is uh, the priority of a thread is set to 31. This is all. So um, this is a priority of a process and it is computed as a priority minus recent CPU divided by four minus nice times two. So I'm going to explain the details of this equation. This equation is very simple, but uh, it is profound. Um, there are four principles in behind this equation. First, if the thread is nicer, it lowers its priority. If the thread has been using lots of CPU recently, lower the priority. So there is an important uh, word here, recently, and how uh, CPU scheduler take into account how the CPU has been using, the process has been used recently, later. For all thread, priority is recalculated once in every fourth clock tick. And the result is truncated to nearest integer. Um, this statement uh, sounds pretty obvious, but it is not. The reason is that um, priority and priority max, this is integer, and then recent CPU divided by four and nice is this is not an integer number, it's floating point number. So we have to have some some rules to map the floating floating point number to the integer value, and the result is truncated to its nearest integer. Um, first. Um, we're going to talk about the concept of recent CPU. It represents how much of the CPU cycles the process has been using. CPU scheduler, sorry, um, timer interrupt increases recent CPU of the currently running process by one in every timer interrupt. And in the previous slide, um, lower the priority if the process has been using CPU for, uh, for recently. So uh, even though the process has been using CPU a lot of times long before, then we have to have a mechanism to uh, discourage that fact comes into play. So we bring the concept of decay. Um, DK decreases the amount of recent CPU value by a certain amount of time, DK factor, in every second. So, of course, the DK is less than 1. We adjust the recent CPU by nice in every second. So, in every second, we add nice value to recent CPU and set it to the new value of recent CPU. So, putting them all together, uh, recent CPU is computed by 
dk times repeated recent CPU plus nice value in every second. Every second. In System 5 release 3, the DK factor was uh, 0.5. In BST 4.4, it incorporated more sophisticated uh, mechanism. Um, in heavy load, the CPU schedule wants to make the DK factor nearly 1. In light load, DK factor uh, converges to 0. So to achieve this objective, um, it comes with this very interesting uh, formula, which means that um, the DK factor is two times load average divided by two times load average plus one. If load average is large, then this value converges to Z one. And if load average is um, nearly zero, then this value goes to zero, converges to zero. And uh, there's another way to, uh, uh, what, then what is load average? Um, load average represents how busy the system is. So uh, at the booting time, load average is initially set to zero. And load average is a, a weighted average of load average and ready threads. And ready thread is a number of threads in the ready list and plus threads in the executing at the time of an update. So that's, uh, that represents the number of ready threads in the system. So load average, again, computed by um, this value, 59 divided by 60 times load average, plus 1 over 60 times ready threads. Um, all of these values plays a very critical role in determining the fairness, efficiency, performance through a space CPU scheduling algorithm. But we are not going to get into details about how to set this value. So uh, in summary, um, we can uh, obtain the following rules. First, in every fourth tick, we need to recompute the priority of all threads as follows in every fourth clock tick. And in every clock tick, we increase the running threads recent CPU by one. In every second, update to every thread recent CPU as follows. Uh, recent CPU becomes DK factor times recent CPU plus nice. And DK factor and load average is computed as follows. Let us provide an example. Um, there are three processes, P1, P2, and P3. And initial value of nice is zero, and initial value of load average is also zero. Um, let's start. Um, at the first clock tick, the priority of four threads are all 63. So process one is picked up as a CPU scheduler. And um, it has at clock ticks, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, the recent CPU value increases by 1, 2, 3. And then at the fourth clock tick, it, um, the priority of P1, P2, P3 is recalculated. So uh, because the recent CPU becomes 4, so priority of process one becomes 62 from 63. And then it compares the priority of the two other processes, P2 and P3. The rest of the two processes gets priority 63 and it has the higher priority. So due to that reason, priority process two is picked up and then it gets executed from also the recent CPU value increases four times from 31, one to two, three to four, to the four. And at this point, um, the priority of P2 is updated 62. Therefore, the priority of P3 is 63 and it gets the highest priority. So it gets the CPU. At the same time, uh, let's look at how recent CPU gets uh, reset. Here, um, um, recent, recent CPU is 
um, compute it like this. 2 times load average divided by 2 times load average plus 1 times recent CPU plus nice. Basically, if you consider all these, then recent CPU values of process 1 becomes 0 to 4 at this time period. So as a result, uh, according to uh, this priority mechanism, P1 and P2 and P3 gets executed um, in round robin manner if they all require CPU. There is one important thing to do. Uh, you need to implement fixed point arithmetic. The reason is, inside a kernel, you can do only integer arithmetics. Um, kernel doesn't have safe floating point uh, register when switching the thread, treating the context. So uh, you need to implement fixed point arithmetic using integer arithmetic. Priority, nice, and ready thread value are integers. However, the recent CPU load average value is real. So uh, we're going to use the 17.14 fixed point number representation. Um, using uh, in this representation, um, decimal points is 14 rightmost bits, and integer is 17 next bits to the left. And the last of the left bit, one bit, is sine bit. So this is how it looked like. So this is total 32 byte, sorry, 32 bit. And f from zero to 13, this is decimal point. And left, leftmost bit represents sine. And then this one represents the fixed point numbers. So this is the integer part, this is the small, and this is sine bit. So this is a rule. Uh, we need these functions, convert n to fixed point, and convert fixed point to integer, and then convert x to integer, and add two values, where x and y is fixed point numbers, and n is integer. And then subtraction, addition, and the addition between the fixed point numbers and integer numbers, and then subtraction, multiplication, and division. So uh, you need to implement all these functions by yourself and then uh, use proper functions to do the arithmetics. So this is the basic of um, implementation. First thing you have to do is um, you have to add nice and recent CPU fields to the structure thread. And then you need all these functions. First, um, you need a function that calculates priority using recent CPU and nice. And then you, you also need a function to calculate recent CPU load average. And you need a function to increase recent CPU by one. And then also you have to uh, recalculate the priority and recent CPU of all threads. So, um, if you use this simple equation, then you may not uh, need uh, multiple queues to implement multi-level feedback. So, uh, this simple equation based CPU scheduler achieves the same objective as multi-level feedback queue does. Uh, it it gives priority to the interactive jobs and it gives priority to the IO intensive jobs. So these are functions to modify. Um, in any thread, uh, you have to initialize your nice value and recent CPU. And also um, in, in set priority, um, you disable the priority setting when using advanced scheduler. And um, you have to adjust time enter function. Uh, in time enter function, you re recalculate load average, recent CPU of all threads, and also priority in every one second. And you have to recalculate the priority of all threads 
in every fourth tick. And um, please disable priority donation uh, when using advanced scheduler. And also both in lock acquire and lock release. These are the function you need to modify to implement um, BST lock scheduler. Um, there is a function called thread set nice. It sets nice value of the current thread. And it also has a function thread get nice. Um, it returns nice value of the current thread. And you implement thread get load average. Um, it returns load average multiplied by 100. Then also you write thread get recent CPU. It returns recent CPU multiplied by 100. So once you completely have implemented these features, then you should be able to pass authority to 27 tests.